Hello everyone, this is Fairytale Hero, and today I'm going to be telling you about my top 10 BeggyTales episodes that I enjoy. Hope you like and subscribe, and let's get this party started. Number 10, Abe and Amazing Promise. Now, Abe and Amazing Promise is a very good episode that I really enjoy. And that's because Abe and Amazing Promise is a wonderful episode. It also teaches about patience. And everyone wants to be greedy and stuff, and uh, they don't want to wait for too long. Like some people in McDonald's, like waiting in the waiting line. I don't know why people don't want to use patience, but we gotta learn. Now this show teaches all about patience. In the first segment of the show, you get them voicing, you get them into a movie that is doing Abraham. You know, everyone's favorite story about Abraham. And it teaches them about patience. And then Junior, along him, wanted to get cookies from his mom. But he had to be patient to do that. Let them do what they needed to do to get the job done. The second segment is about this inventor who really wanted to get stuff done now and out of the way, even though that's not the case. The only thing that you gotta do is to be patient so it can be done smoothly. And that's why I love this episode a lot. Number 9. Sumo at the Opera. Sumo at the Opera is a very amazing episode. It brings me back to Rocky, you know, the Rocky trilogy. If you find those on Amazon, please let me know in the comments. Now, this episode is about perseverance. Even though perseverance is a very strong word, it's about don't quit, finish where you left off. It's about Larry as the Italian scallion, I hope that name, was very. Mm, let's say sorry guys um it's about him being a sumo wrestler even though he loves to do jokes and joke around even though his partner um I forgot his name though um it teaches him about perseverance is talking about like you gotta finish what you started and you gotta do well to defeat the Apollo Gore which, aka, if you guys know, the Apollo Gore sounded like the life and David and John Pickle. And also sounded like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Even though this episode is really good, I really hope you guys enjoy watching it. Let me know in the comments if you did. Number eight is Larry Boy in the Bad Apple. Now, this Larry Boy, I really enjoy. The two, the 90s classics are my heroes, I still can count those in, but let's talk about Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. This fixes everything in the 90s. The action, the quality, well, the rumor we have action is really good though, I'll get to that later. But this is like the amazing Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 2 where Spider-Man faces Dr. Octopus. It's like that. And I love it a lot. This episode teaches about temptation. Even though we all do temptation. Don't get me wrong. I do temptation for myself. And I try to prevent myself from doing that. Anyways. It's about Larry Boy. And his temptation is chocolate. Between your rhubarb. Video games. Madam Blueberry. Pretend like to be beauty. And the bad apple. Wanted to conquer Bumbleberg with their temptations. And Larry Boy has to confront his temptations and stop the bad apple from destroying Bumbleberg. And if you guys know this, there's a video game about it too. I think it's on PlayStation 2, but I wish it was on PlayStation Premium so everybody can enjoy it. Number 7. The Toy That Saves Christmas. A.K.A. The Veggie Tales Christmas Spectacular. This is one of my favorite Christmas stories of all time, including the Star of Christmas. This is the first VeggieTales Christmas episode that is released on 1996. Even though 
I do love this show. It's about giving, not getting. And I'm really thankful for this episode because it has Buzzsaw Louie, Junior, Larry, and Bob. It's almost like a retelling of Rack Check of Benny, but it's own story. I really do enjoy this episode. And I love the silly song, Old Santa. Old Santa was a really good song, too. I will sing it all the time during Christmas time. And I will watch this show no matter what. Number six. Where is God when I am scared? This, though, this show started it all. I really do love this, um, sec- this show. Especially God is Bigger Than a Boogeyman. That's everyone's favorite show. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, favorite song. It started off as Junior Asparagus watching a um, freaking celery movie, and he was a bit scared. And that was up to Bob and Larry to help Junior to confront all his fears and telling him that God is the biggest and that he is not scared of anything because God is bigger than anything. And then in Dave, and then, what am I saying, Dave and the Giant for? I'm sorry. Then you got Daniel in the Lion's Den, which is a very classic story. It teaches of Larry as Daniel was very hopeful and very hopeful that he helped King Darius by telling him his dream was. And the three skeletons, as the unwise men, wanted to get rid of Daniel. So what did they do? They made a new law is that they only pray for King Darius. And nothing else. And once Daniel broke that role, because he's doing the right thing, the salesman went to go through him into the lion's den. But whatever later, they came down to check on him, and instead he was all right, enjoying with the lions eating pizza. And once the salesman was in trouble, King Darius and Daniel went to go stop him. And I really do love this episode, though. Even though it was the first one, I enjoyed it very much. Number five. Are you my neighbor? Now, I know everybody in this in this world loves Are You My Neighbor. It's a really heartwarming episode because it teaches about um, loving your neighbor. And people sometimes can be different. And I understand that I have autism. And I appreciate other people. I appreciate you guys. Even though some people can be different. And I totally agree. And I understand. In the Flipper Lou, based off Dr. Seuss, it teaches them about loving your neighbor. And then the gorge must be crazy, which is my favorite one based on Star Trek. It teaches you about loving your neighbor, and you can always trust them. Like Jimmy and Jerry were first appearance, and they did a wonderful job there. Eating a popcorn meteor and saving the galaxy from getting smashed. I really do enjoy that a lot. Number four, Rack, Shack, and Benny. Rack Shack and Benny is a very, very wonderful episode for me. I really do enjoy it. It's about standing up for what you believe in. And it's about peer pressure, even though we deal with it today. Like, for example, if somebody wants to give you beer and you really don't like beer and you really don't want to be like them, you got to stand up for what you believe in because God is there with you. And about this, Rack Shack and Benny, known as Bob Lehring Jr., confronted Mr. Nazar of... God wanted to, you can stand up for what you believe in, and that Mr. Nezer threw them in a fiery furnace, but what happened? God was there with them, and he protected them from the fiery furnace. And all that because they don't want to worship the bunny, which is wrong. There are three bunny songs that you should listen to. There's the original, there's the bad one, and there's a new one approved. But to be honest with me, I think the new one approved should be better for you guys. Because the new one approved bunny song is very, very good. And also it can help you a lot. Number three, Dave and the Giant Pickle. This is the first appearance of Larry Boy. 
but we'll get to that later. Dave and the Giant Pickle is about self-esteem, even though all of us know self-esteem. Self-esteem is very good for us. And also, um, it's about Junior as Dave. You know, his brothers were picking on him, telling him that he couldn't do a lot what big guys do. But, karma comes around. Stay with me now. They both get scared by a big, giant pickle. A.K.A. Goliath. But for me, I want to call him Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because he almost sounded like him. And he could be a good role. Will I fight? And later on, during the battle of Dave and Goliath, Dave was not feared. He was self-confident because he faced Goliath and he defeated him with a stone. And by that, God was there with him. And even though God loves him very much, those guys can do big things as well. Number two, Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed. This 90s is like, how can I say this? Batman and Joker. The first Batman movie from Tim Burton. This one is very, very chilling and very, a little bit scary, but a very more action-packed. I really do love this episode. It's about Junior and Laura are in class, and Notre Bomb was there with Davis Vegas, telling them that he got a rest because he got to recharge his batteries. But you know what, Junior and Laura, they were confused and worried that Alfred was a robot about to destroy Bumbly Bird. They were scared until they met a strange little weed known as the Rumor Weed. And once after they met, the Rumor Weed goes over Bumbley Bird to tell them about rumors. And by that, everyone was scared of Alfred and thinking that he would destroy the Earth and the Universe. And it's up to Larry Boy to stop the Rumor Weed from spreading rumors and telling them that words can hurt people, pierce like a sword. And also, it is a very dangerous thing when you tell rumors that can hurt a lot of people. That's why this episode is for everyone to this day. Now, number one is Larry Boy and the Fifth from Outer Space. This is my nostalgia right here. I love this episode. I understand your opinion if you don't like this episode. I understand that and I pray for you. But to me, I love this episode a lot. It teaches us about telling the truth, even though I do lie sometimes, but it's about telling the truth. And I really do love this. It's the first Larry Boy episode that I ever watched. It's amazing. It's a masterpiece. Junior was, Junior and Larry were having a tea party and they were trying to find a new plate. Instead, they were found themselves that Junior trying to get the Ark Bugatti plate. And once Junior dropped it, Laura said, I gotta go. And then the Fib shows up telling Tim that lying is not, lying is good. Is that you can have your troubles all the way. And when Dad Asparagus came home, Junior told him, and then it makes it a lot worse. And after all of that, when he had lies, the fairy house grown bigger. He wanted to devour all Bumbley Bird. And who can save us from all the destruction and disaster? Larry Boy. And from this episode, fellas, never tell a lie. Always tell the truth. And that's why this episode is number one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.